Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitali, and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I want to show you what I call the salad that rocks my world. Now, this salad sort of it's inspired, and I've sort of recreated it from one of my favorite salads that I get almost every time I'm in New York City. And if you follow us on our blog channel, you'll know all about it. We go to this restaurant called Rana, and they have the most simple escarole mint salad with like a Parmesan um, anchovy vinaigrette that just sounds odd but all together is just incredible and true to self I had to recreate it at home because I just refuse to only enjoy that salad whenever I travel to New York City so I've recreated it and taste pretty much exactly like it and it is absolutely to die for delicious the ingredients you'll need are few but all the right ones once they're all put them together extra virgin olive oil lemon walnut thinly sliced onions a little bit of anchovy paste Dijon mustard Worcestershire sauce mint, a large head of escarole that's been washed, dried, and torn into large pieces, lots of parmigiano reggiano, and some salt and pepper. That is it. So let's get started. Most of the time when you buy escarole, it's very dirty. So go ahead and wash it really well and make sure you use a salad spinner to dry it because you never want to use wet, um, you never want any lettuce to be wet whenever you are ready to dress it. It should be really dry. So that's what I've done. And now I am ready to assemble uh, my salad, really make my dressing. Let's make the dressing first. Okay, so in here I've got the three ingredients that give me saltiness, creaminess, little bit of tanginess, all the right stuff. That's got the Dijon anchovy paste. If you don't like anchovies, which I'm very picky when it comes to anchovies, you will never know that there's anchovy paste in here at all. All this does, it gives you like an extra layer of saltiness, which is so, so good here. Then you're going to need some lemon juice, about two tablespoons worth, and I like to squeeze it over my clean fingers, that way I can just catch all the seeds. And if one or two goes in there, well, you know what, I tried. I'm going to use this whole lemon because it's really not that juicy. I would say that's about right. And if it's a little more lemony, then you know that's not going to bother me at all because I am the self-proclaimed citrus queen and I love lemon. So we have that in there, a little bit of black pepper touch, very small touch of salt. I'm going to use the end of my clean fork here because my hands are slightly wet from the lemon. Now all you're going to do is just mix this together to combine those three. Drizzle in your olive oil. You can do this in a jar if you want to. That will make it really easy to store as well. Just close it up and pop it in the fridge. It will solidify as the dressing sits in the fridge because of the oil, but you just bring it to room temperature for about 10 minutes and it's all right in the world. Now, you're gonna grate some freshly, um, some fresh parm. You really can go anywhere between like three tablespoons to like a quarter cup to a half a cup, as much or as little as of parm as you like. I like about a quarter cup or so. I don't like so much that it overpowers everything else because I still want to be able to taste the mint. I still want to be able to taste a little bit of red onion. And, um, but I want enough to give me great consistency and of course great flavor. So I like to just freshly grate it right over my little measuring cup and then just mix it all in really, really well. You want to taste your dressing to make sure everything is good. And instead of just putting your finger in there and tasting it, it's really a, a neat idea to take a piece of lettuce or whatever you're using the dressing for and taste it that way so that you can get an idea for really what your salad will taste like. And that is slam dunk. Okay, that's really good. You've got your escarole. It's really good. I've got my mint. Now the way they um, put, you know, have their mint in the salad, the restaurant I'm talking about, it's not finely chopped. It's all sort of torn pieces or small leaves. So that's how I like it because I like the idea of biting into a big piece of mint. But if you don't, by all means, use a, uh, just chop it up a little bit more. Your red onion, slice it thin, as thinly as you can manage and then some walnuts that are, they've been halved, but they haven't been chopped. Throw those right in. This salad will rock your world, and you'll understand why I say that, and why I call it that when you eat it. It's that good. Now you just take your dressing, you pour this over. I would suggest just pouring over a little bit, and you very, very lightly 
toss this together. It is outrageously good. Not even lying when I tell you I crave this in my sleep. I just try to toss it in a way so that everything is well coated, but not so that I'm bruising the lettuce or anything. And you can try if you want to, to make sure all the sort of the onions and the walnuts and whatnot are on top, but it doesn't really matter. And then you can serve the rest of the dressing on the side. But as of now, I'm stealing this fork because there's just Joe and I for dinner tonight. That's the pleasure of cooking like a big salad for just two people or a big anything for just two people. You can snack on it ahead of time and he'll never know. In this case, he knows very well, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Okay, I want some onion. I want some mint. I want a little bit of everything. Let's see if I can find a nice piece of mint. This just looks wonderful, doesn't it? I mean, look at how well coated that is. Uh-uh, I found, I found a piece. That's a big, it's going to be a big bite. See? Mint, onion. I'm so happy. I'm so happy hmm, that I don't have to go all the way to New York just to have my favorite salad. Don't you love that? That's why I just tell you all the time to recreate your favorite dishes at home. They feel special, they're to die for delicious, and I promise it'll make you happier than you could imagine. This may not sound that interesting, but give it a go. I guarantee you, you will love it. LauraInTheKitchen.com has the written recipe waiting for you. Hope you enjoy spending time with me. Let me know down below some of your favorite restaurant dishes that you want to see me recreate, because I love doing that. Hope you enjoy spending time with me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.